Okay, after a couple of attempts, uh, I'm just going to do a quick video on how to update the uh, various firmwares on the CR10 Smart Pro. So, download the uh, firmware from the Creality website. You need to put these two folders, private and dwin underscore set, onto a micro SD card and uh, take that out of your uh, reader and go over to the machine. Uh, now unfortunately <laughs> there is no uh, slot in the plastic to uh, get the card in so you've literally got to uh, take it off the mount which I think sucks is the whole way this mounts is not very good. Um, undo the four screws and uh, take the back cover off and uh, pop your card into uh, here. Now I've already done this once but the machine is off. Click that in place and we'll just turn this over. I don't think it's going to do an update. Use the soft on button there and just fire it up because uh, I've already done it once. Oh, actually it has you know, attempted to read it again and you will get uh, that and uh, it says SD card process and uh, you would think uh, actually, yeah, I'm just looking at the date at the top, 23rd of the 7th, 2021. So, yeah, it looks like it's, you know, downloaded it and installed it. Got no reason to suspect otherwise. There's no indication in the instructions as to exactly what it should do. Um, and at that point, obviously you can't turn the machine off because uh, none of the menu options are there uh, so you're going to have to power it off at the back take the card out and uh, actually I'll put it back together actually no I'm going to fire it up first um, so just fire that up and uh, this time oh god these bloody shiny screens hopefully you can see it it just fires up as normal, the light will come on. <clears throat> um, unfortunately if you go to settings about, we've still got nothing in the screen version uh, there. So I don't know what that's all about. Hardware version I've already done is the latest but we're going to cover each one of these in this, uh, this video. So that is how to update the screen firmware. Uh, the fact that you've got to take this all apart is uh, pretty stupid. Uh, they could have made this board just a fraction longer, uh, had the card right at the edge and there could have been a slot here. That would have been uh, so much easier than needing to dismantle uh, the display module. Okay, we're now going to cover uh, what is likely to go wrong when you try and update the mainboard uh, firmware. Um, I've closed it down, but again, on the download, the firmware download for the from the Creality website, um, there's a bin file, and uh, you need to put that onto the card that came with it. Make sure this is formatted with uh, 4096 allocation uh, size uh, with the machine on. We uh, plug that in, there's nothing else on the card, just the bin file. And at this point we can go and turn this off. And now we need to turn it on and I'll show you what is very likely to go wrong. In fact, because I've already updated this, this probably isn't going to work. Um, we might have to refer to the other video that I've already done. Yeah, I'm afraid we are going to have to refer to that other video. Um, but basically what will happen is the screen will just stay blank. And uh, after a few minutes, absolutely nothing happens. Uh, and you're going to be forced to hard power the machine off. Uh, leave the card in and try and fire it up. Well, turn it back on at the switch. Try and fire it up at the uh, with the soft touch button. 
Now you might find that when you press that the machine will fire up for a couple of seconds and then simply go back off. Uh, now the only way to get around that is if you press and hold that button and it might take a couple of minutes but press and hold that button and eventually you will see the startup screen uh, and again after a few minutes you will get back to this uh, home menu or whatever it starts up with um, and if you go into settings and about you'll see the latest version has actually uh, upgraded correctly um, but if you just press that button and hold it for a couple of seconds like you would normally it will not fire up properly it will just go off after a couple of seconds and uh, no way around it as far as I'm aware don't know why it does it no idea but fortunately it didn't crash everything permanently I was just able to press and hold that uh, for that length of time now the only the other thing that's got to be updated is with the cloud the Creality Cloud app and uh, you can update the cloud box through the app and that one is a pretty straightforward you can connect uh, to the box with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or LAN um, and uh, just simply update the Creality Cloud box that's uh, built in and that's it uh, really that's uh, as simple as that the firmware version there seems to be three for this main board you may well have to take the uh, cover underneath off to uh, determine which you've got so it's not ideal but um, it's mostly straightforward uh, but you would be stuffed if you didn't know about holding that button in uh, for a number of minutes whilst it actually fires up